Welcome to Havana, Cuba's capital city, a bustling metropolis with colonial buildings, vintage American vehicles, music, dance, and delectable food. We'll take you on a tour of the top attractions in Havana, including the old Havana Historic District and the city's renowned music and dance scene. Join us as we explore the top sites and little-known jewels that make Havana one of the world's most distinctive and intriguing cities. Take a walk through the historic center of Havana, Old Havana, Habana Vieja in Spanish is the historic center of Havana and a UNESCO World Heritage Site. It is a beautifully preserved colonial neighborhood, rich in history and culture, with narrow cobbled streets, colorful buildings, and charming plazas. One of the must-see attractions in Old Havana is the Plaza de la Catedral, also known as Cathedral Square, is home to the stunning Catedral de San Cristobal. The plaza is a beautiful example of colonial architecture, and the cathedral is a stunning example of Baroque architecture with a bell tower that offers gorgeous views of Old Havana. The cathedral was built in the 18th century and features a beautiful facade with two bell towers and a statue of St. Christopher. Another popular attraction in Old Havana is the Plaza de Armas, also known as Arm Square. It is one of the oldest and most historic squares in Havana, Cuba. Located in the heart of Old Havana, it is a popular destination for tourists and locals alike. The square is surrounded by impressive buildings, including the Palacio de los Capitanes General, the former governor's palace, and now a museum showcasing the history of Havana. The square is also home to other beautiful buildings, including the Palacio del Conde Lombelo, also known as the Lombelo Palace. It is a beautiful colonial mansion that now houses the Municipal Museum of Colonial Art. The palace was built in the 18th century by the wealthy Lombelo family, who were prominent figures in colonial Havana. Today, the palace is home to a restaurant that offers traditional Cuban cuisine in a beautiful and historic setting. The restaurant features a courtyard surrounded by arcades and a balcony overlooking the street, providing a serene and peaceful atmosphere for diners. Another notable building on the square is the Casa del Marques de Arcos, a mansion once the Marquis of Arcos residence and now home to a restaurant the palace was built in the 18th century and was the residence of the Marques of Arcos, a prominent figure in colonial Havana. The mansion's facade, which has elaborate balconies, arched windows, and delicate moldings, is a stunning example of colonial architecture. The mansion's interior is spectacular, featuring large rooms, lofty ceilings, and lovely furnishings and accents. For those interested in Cuban art and culture, a visit to the Museum of Fine Arts is a must. The museum has an impressive collection of Cuban art, including works by artists such as Wilfredo Lamb, Emilia Palais, and Rene Porto Carrero. The museum is located in two buildings, the Palace of Fine Arts, which houses the Cuban art collection, and the Asturian Center, which houses the European art collection. The museum features an extensive collection of Cuban art, including paintings, sculptures, installations, and art collections from other Latin American countries. It also showcases the work of international artists such as Pablo Picasso, John Miro, and Salvador Dali. Old Havana also has plenty of restaurants, cafes, and bars where you can try Traditional Cuban cuisine and drinks. Traditional Cuban cuisine is a fusion of Spanish, African, and Caribbean influences, resulting in unique and flavorful cuisine. Cuban cuisine is known for using fresh ingredients and simple seasonings. Cuba is famous for its coffee, usually served strong and sweetened with sugar. Cuban coffee is often enjoyed as a digestive or afternoon pick-me-up after meals. We are Travel Pug, 
your travel guide around the world. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and hit that notification bell to stay up to date on more videos here in Travel Pug. After visiting Old Havana, hop into a vintage convertible and take a ride through the city in style by enjoying a classic car tour. A classic car tour is a unique and popular way to explore Havana and experience the city's rich history and culture. The tour involves riding in a vintage American car, such as a 1950s Chevrolet, Buick, or Ford, an iconic symbol of Cuba. Many of the classic car tours are guided by knowledgeable and friendly drivers who can provide a fascinating commentary on the history and culture of Havana. While on tour, make sure to drop by Revolution Square. Havana's Revolution Plaza is an ample public space, renowned for its political and historical significance. Important government structures are on the square. It is well liked by tourists who want to learn about Cuba's political history. It has served as a scene of significant events. Are you looking for an adventure and history while on a classic car tour? Climb the ramparts of El Moro Castle and get ready to explore one of the most iconic landmarks in Havana, where stories of pirates and battles still linger. El Moro Castle, also known as the Castillo de los Tres Reyes Magos del Moro, is a historic fortress on the western shore of Havana Bay. The fortress was built in the 16th century to protect the city from pirate attacks and has since become one of the most iconic landmarks in Havana. Visitors can explore the fortress and its many rooms, which include an armory, a chapel, and a lighthouse. The lighthouse, added in the 19th century, offers stunning views of the city and the bay. Visitors can climb the spiral staircase to the top of the lighthouse and take in the panoramic views. Get ready to experience the heartbeat of Havana as you stroll along the Malcon waterfront, where the city comes alive with music, dancing, and the salty sea breeze. The Malcon is a five-mile-long seawall promenade stretching along Havana, Cuba's coast. The waterfront is a popular gathering place for locals and visitors with its stunning sea and city views. The Malcon is also a great place to enjoy live music, street performers, and the vibrant energy of Havana's nightlife after a long classic car tour. Step into the world of one of the greatest American writers of the 20th century. Visit the Hemingway Museum and discover the fascinating life and works of Ernest Hemingway, all while surrounded by lush gardens and stunning sea views. The Hemingway Museum, also known as the Finca Vigia, is in San Francisco de Paula, just outside Havana, Cuba. The museum is dedicated to the life and works of the legendary American writer, Ernest Hemingway, who lived in Cuba for over 20 years. The museum is in a beautiful, spacious villa with lush gardens and stunning sea views. Visitors can explore the villa's interior, which has been preserved to look as it did during Hemingway's time there. The villa contains memorabilia, including Hemingway's personal belongings, photographs, and books. Get ready to move to the rhythms of Cuba and dance the night away. Enjoy Cuban music and dance as you experience the vibrant nightlife of Havana, the perfect way to cap off an unforgettable day of exploration and adventure. Havana is known for its vibrant and exciting nightlife with many visitor options. The city comes alive after dark with live music, dancing, and entertainment available at venues all across the city. One of the most popular destinations for nightlife in Havana is the Vidado District, which is home to a variety of pubs, restaurants, and nightclubs. Live music is played in many of the clubs, including jazz, salsa, and traditional Cuban music. Tourists may experience the lively energy of Havana's music culture and dance the night away. While Havana isn't necessarily known for its beaches, 
visitors can explore a few popular destinations. Here are some of the best beaches to visit in Havana, Cuba. Have fun in the sun at Santa Maria del Mar. Santa Maria del Mar is a famous beach about 20 kilometers east of Havana, Cuba. The beach is known for its stunning white sand and clear turquoise waters, making it a popular destination for locals and tourists. The beach is several kilometers long, offering plenty of space for visitors to relax and enjoy the sun and sea. Several beachfront bars and restaurants also provide a range of food and drink options. Santa Maria del Mar is known for its lively beach scene with music, dancing, and water sports available throughout the day. Visitors can enjoy kayaking, windsurfing, and snorkeling activities, or simply relax and soak up the sun. Get ready to dive into a world of underwater adventure and relaxation. Visit Playa Hibokola, one of Havana's most scenic beaches, and explore the colorful marine life or relax and soak up the sun while taking in the stunning views. Playa Hibokola is a beautiful scenic beach about 50 kilometers east of Havana, Cuba. The beach is known for its calm and clear waters, making it an excellent spot for swimming and snorkeling. One of the unique features of Playa Hibokola is its coral reef which is located just offshore. Visitors can explore the reef and its vibrant marine life by snorkeling or diving. The beach is also known for its clean and well-maintained facilities with showers, restrooms, and beach umbrellas available for visitors. Feel the sand between your toes and the warm sun on your skin. Visit Guanabo Beach, one of Havana's most popular destinations, and enjoy the soft sand calm waters, and lively beach scene. Guanabo Beach is a famous beach located about 27 kilometers east of Havana, Cuba. The beach is known for its soft sand and calm waters, making it an excellent spot for families with young children. The beach is several kilometers long, offering plenty of space for visitors to relax and enjoy the sun and sea. Several beachfront bars and restaurants also provide a range of food and drink options. That concludes the best things to do in Havana, Cuba. From exploring the history and culture of old Havana to cruising in a classic car and enjoying the vibrant nightlife, Havana has something to offer everyone. Now, for a little fun, would you rather take a classic car tour through the streets of Havana or dance the night away in one of the city's most famous nightclubs? Let us know in the comments below. We are Travel Pug, your guide and forever travel buddy. If you enjoyed and loved this video, hit that like button, subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all of our upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Bye.